Hello everybody, this is BeastCat100 and welcome back to some more Apollo Justice Ace Attorney the Corner Turnabout. In the previous episode, we had finished up Trial Day 1 and we found out our special power, the power of focus and psychology, I guess. Um, uh, uh, maybe I shouldn't say, say, say psychology because that will come back to bite me later. So, uh, so the power of focus. Um, and we barely got out of that scrape. Um, so we need to investigate more. That's what we're going to be doing today. If you like what you see, leave a like down below. Comment if you have anything to say. Subscribe to me if you haven't already. And share with your friends so they can join in on this adventure. On the investigation and all that. Let's keep going. June 16th, 2.23 p.m. Right at Anything Agency. What a chain like... Oh, sorry. What a train wreck that was. I thought we made it out of that trial alive. Really? I had fun. And Waki made it through the day too. Everyone was too obsessed with panties to bother with the real case. But if it was good publicity, imagine the crowd at my show tonight. You should come, po you should come Polly. Yeah. The amazing Mr. Hat will make, be making an appearance. Hi, you folks. I'm here all week. But enough of him. Hello? Ah, uh, Miss Tiala. Thank you for today. The trial went well. Oh, right. No problem. Do you think Walker will be okay? Well, he's not guilty. Yet. Please, you have to help him. He's supposed to get married next month. Oh, congratulations. Ugh, way to put the pressure on a guy. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Alright, let's talk to her, you. Are you sure about marrying into the Kataki family? I'm fine with it, and I love walking with all my heart. Ah, uh, that's so sweet. So it doesn't bother you that you'll be, um, married to the mob? I don't think so. My parents are against it, of course. Say, where did you want and where did you want and walk you first meet anyway? Good question. Miss Tiala doesn't look like the type to have gangster connections. Oh, we met at my old job, actually. Ah, office romance. She's not very forthcoming with information about herself, is she? She knows that the boss is trying to get out of the business. R really? Mr. Kotaki wants to quit being a gangster? He's trying to transfer his assets into a normal company. He only announced it recently out of the blue. I hear there's quite, a, there's quite a lot of confusion in the ranks. Hmm. I wonder if this explains that apron. Can't imagine Walkie going along with that. <laughs> He's highly motivated, isn't he? That's not the word I would have used. He said, "I'll be the next big boss and to keep and the feet and keep the family alive." I think that he's that age when boys want to make a mark on the world. That's not the way I would have put it. His father moves in a lot of circles. He's really focused on profits. The Kataka family's been making a killing recently. Again, not the way I would have put it. But Walker says it's not about the money. They have some gangster tradition to uphold. A uh, generation gap. They've even got ever. Uh, they've even got the ever classic "What about the family business" thing going on. Usually, it's the father worried about the tradition. Can I ask you a question about Walkie? I understand he was operated on by the victim, Dr. Maractus. Apparently, yes. I was in his clinic about half a year ago. He messed up my op something real bad. Then he just lets me go without a word. See you later, bye. So I let him. So I gotta go. So I gotta go and get another doc to patch me up again. Yes, it sounded horrible. Walkie's all been fine with fighting, I'm afraid. I'm not sure it qualifies as fighting when pistols are involved. Mr. Gavin was saying his life might be in danger, wasn't he? N no, well, that can't be right. I'm sure he was just trying to scare us. It's scary to think that a, a surgeon might make a mistake. But it's even scarier when he tries to hide it. I'd still like to know, like to know a little bit more about this operation. Maybe it's time to pay the Maractus Clinic a visit. I should be getting home now. Walk is in your hands, Miss Justice. R right. L l leave it to me. Apollo, I think you're making. 
only making her more nervous. Sorry, I'm new with this, okay? <laughs> it's all right. I believe in you. You have some belief. So we go to Eldune's house first, and then we go to the clinic, or not. Police car is still there. Police car is parked in the front, in front of the Marx clinic. It's empty. The police must be inside investigating. Front entrance to the Maractus Clinic. The walls and posts are very high polished. I can see my face in them. Wait, my hair is a little flat. There, perfect. Okay. Mm. Let's take the banner for some campaign. Three shots for one for the price of one. So I don't see people lining up for that. Okay, so we can't go there yet. Let's go over to the mansion. Or not. What is going to unlock our next step here? Let's go to the park. Nope, nobody's at the park. So that means we need to go back to the agency. And we need to go visit Mr. Wright. Okay. Mr. Wright isn't here. What? Thanks for telling me where to go, game. June 16th Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Hmm, looks like Blackie's after questioning. Really need to talk to him. I guess we'll come back later. Excuse me. Yes? The other suspect is all through with questioning, sir. The other... Ah, you mean the panty snatcher. Wesley Stickler. So they arrest... Oh, Wesley Stickler. So they arrested him, too. Alright, let's have a little chat with Mr. Stickler. I hope I don't regret this. He's a, he is a valuable witness. He's a bit precious, I'll give him that. Please keep this brief if you would. I'm quite busy. I need to finish this paper. God, <laughs> it's you! Mr. Stickler, I'd like to have a few words with you. Farewell, as long as they're few. Nothing would make me happier, believe me. Oh, what is with this music? Mr. Stickler, on the night of the murder, you stole... Wait, I can't help but feel that I'm being misunderstood! How, exactly? Yes, that night I obtained a pair of panties, it's true. However, it was my burning curiosity that drove me to do it, nothing more! You wanted to know the trick to my panties, right? Y you're here too! Oh, great truth, you teach me! Huh? I must know the secret of your panties. My very existence hangs in the balance. Please make me your apprentice. Apollo, help! I don't know. I think you've made a great, lovely assistant. Don't say that, Apollo. Okay, we're not getting anything out of that. Could you relate what you saw the night of the murder to us one more time? Why not? Though it hardly differs from the testimony I gave in court. The defendant was there in the park that night. Of this, I'm quite certain. I was pointing a pistol or something like that at the victim. That's when I shouted, Stop, you two. Let's resolve this like gentlemen. And in the next moment, a shot was fired. And this is all and this is all true, really. My panties are gone, my innermost heart revealed. What further reason could I have possibly possibly to lie? Can't think of anything he'd want to hide more than panty snatching, true. It sounds as though Wacky was at the scene of the crime after all. I wish it weren't so. I wish it weren't so. Okay. What unlocks what? So any leads? Mm, one moment. Shazam! Alec! Sam! Whoa, evidence keeps flying out of nowhere. Ta-da, that's all. Neat, huh? Yeah, real neat. Damn it. Damn it. 
If everything in that penny center stuff is true, it doesn't put Wacky in a very good position, does it? Is that the scene of the crime? That's pretty clear. There's got to be a different angle on this. Well, let's get investigating. No time like the present. Okay, let's go to the park then. June 16th to Kentucky Mansion. Oh, she's back. Hey, you two, over here. Uh, uh, us? You don't let it plan. What's up? I think all this gangsterese is a negative influence on Trucy. How do you retrieve my bloomers? Uh, well, I, I was just. Bah! A man speaks clearly and takes credit where it's due. You caught the thief, didn't you? Uh, yes, sorry, I caught him. You're cute when you're nervous, Polly. I'll deal with you later. But enough about the bloomers. What about my son, Walkie? Walkie? Uh, well, he... Clearly? Yes, ma'am. This is why I was kind of hoping we could avoid coming back here. He's really everything you'd expect in a boss's son. I'm going to be a gangster, dude. Life does have an appeal for that age. P particularly for boys. What? Don't look at me like that. It was shot in the turf for about half a year ago. Yeah, so we heard the story from Walkie. But he didn't tell you the whole story. You know, even if he had a pistol then, he couldn't have shot anyone. What? He acts like he's hard and... But couldn't shoot someone to save his life. I should know. I'm his mom. Her words do have a certain weight to them. Hopefully when all this is taken care of, he and the boss can sort out their differences. The boss? You mean Waki's father? They didn't seem to be, um, they didn't seem to be on the best terms, did they? The boss may get tough, but that boy means the world to him. Waki seems, well, seems like he's against his father's position. That's to be expected. We're in a bit of a transition now. Trying to cut our ties to the shadier side of the street and do more up and up. Waki isn't too enthusiastic about the change, it's true. But why the change? Isn't the gangster thing just not paying the bills? <laughs> it pays, but we need a lot of money right now. Clean money, that is. I see. Hmm, something must be up. We'll see things the way the boss sees them. Someday. It's true. One of our pistols is missing. So the matter weapon was from this mansion. I kind of figured, given the difficulty of obtaining a gun these days. None of the rank and file of access. Only the boss, myself, and Walkie could have taken it. I see. So the cops will continue trampling over the mansion because of this case. Maybe this is a sign that it's time for a change. <laughs> she doesn't seem too concerned, at least. Yeah, Walkie's fiance. They're getting married next month. No, they're getting married next month, correct? So I suppose. She's been staying over lately. You don't look too happy about that, little plum. How'd you guess? You're not gonna tell that. Could you tell? Uh, could you tell us more about her? Monkey brought her home one day. He says he wants to tie the knot. I can see why. She's so pretty. Oh, she's pretty enough. But you know, nah. It's probably just me being suspicious. Stay in the business too long, and you start to only see darkness in people. You get a nose for it. Nose for people, nose for trouble. I wonder what the problem is. It's like gangster's only version of female intuition. Interesting. Oh, wait, before I go to the park. Trash can. This is where we found the mirror. Come to think of it, wasn't there something else in there? Something near the bottom? Look at the paint on these. That means they must have ended up in here after Mr. Red's accident. Maybe they're connected? Let's pick them up. Alright, now we get the slippers. I remembered something about that. And go into the park. Go into the park to investigate. A trash can sits next to the path here. And I guess now we know where the Mr. Stickler hid. Who hid? It was Mr. Stickler who had little pl Plum's bloomers here, huh? 
That's right, Trucy. It's a web of lies that grew from that one little act. I still remember that moment. You brandished those bloomers on high and shouted objection. Here's what I want you to do, Trucy. Take that memory, gently lock it away deep in your heart, and never speak of it. Okay, then. Okay, we don't need to go there. Sorry, kid. You get no idea what you're talking about. Okay. So this pistol belongs to the Kataki family, is that correct? So what are the pieces we keep around? That is, we used to keep around. They're all gone now. Oh? Police came yesterday and took everything. Bah! Everything but my broom. Don't you think you should have given them that too? You kidding? Can't clean up very well without a broom! Okay then. Can you tell me about this knife? Can you tell me if this knife belongs to Waki? Oh, that's his knife, all right. Bought it for himself on, uh, bought it for him on his birthday. Wow, that's a pretty hardcore present. I remember him falling asleep with it clutched in his arms. I knew the feeling. I bet he was as happy as I was with my classic spaghetti. Uh, about these. Hey, my bloomers! Thanks for that. I owe you one. Uh, I thought you might like them back, so. Uh, oh, no, no, why don't you just keep them as a souvenir? I couldn't, really. Thanks for the offer, but I could use those as my magic panties act. I'll put, I'll put shivs and pieces and godfathers out of them. Great, now your props are going from bland to dangerous. Uh, what about the checkup report? Nope, no idea. Okay... Okay, I guess we're done here for now. June 16th, Eldoon's house. Hey, it's Mr. Eldoon. Oh, Mr. Eldoon! <laughs> What's wrong? So you filled my stand. That's why I'm here, to so thank you. Ah! Now it's a crime scene and they won't let me have it back! That's also why I'm here. I got no other place to go. I... I see. How can a noodle stand to be a crime scene? That's what I don't get, Trucy doll. Even in death, that he's after my neck, I tell you. Bah! Can't even, can't even cook it on his noodle. That's right. He? Even in death? You mean the victim, Mr. Dr. Maractus? I tell you. It's enough to drive a guy mad. Uh, a man. Uh, drive a man to make his soup even saltier. Mommy never eats his noodles when he's in a bad mood. Let's stand. For generations, it served up the best of el uh, noodles el us Eldeans can make. Just have noodles and salty broth. It's more than a stand, it's history, I tell you. Watch what you say, it'll become, it might become true. It's a great story, Mr. Eldoon. A single stand, passed down from generation to generation. Of course, to be honest, I didn't plan on, on doing it. That's right, you said something about that. About you rebelling against your pops, was it? Good memory, Trucy doll. Hey, I was a go-getter back in the day. Till my friend next door butted in. In the end, I was left with nothing but this dusty old stand in my fortune. Mr. Eldoon, I don't mean to pry, but what exactly did you do before you became a chef? Bah! Let old noodles lie, that's what I say. I'm trying to get an idea of what he did anyway. He stole my dreams and left nothing, nothing but noodles. I don't even have that. Mr. Aldoon, if I might ask, what exactly happened between you and the Miractus Clinic? Huh? Huh? I couldn't help but sense enmity, enmity there. Enmity? I hate him! Hate. Uh, hated. Him acting like he, he smells the roses when he's in, rolling in mud. Excuse me? He's the only doctor of that clinic, you know. Pretty impressive, huh? I tell you the secret to his success. The mob. You mean the Kataki family? They're always having one of them turf wars or whatnot. Always an injury or two and that needs fixing. Rock just saw a chance for some business. 
so we started giving their Kitaki family a good deal. A deal? Every fifth operation for free. He stole the idea from my pops. One free bowl of new, uh, one free bowl of noodles a week. He used to say. Can a doctor just decide to do that? What about the insurance companies? Oh no doubt it's illegal, but it got him good with the family. Pretty soon, pretty soon he was getting business all over town, giving me here in the dark, up to my neck in soupy broth. I think I figured out Mr. Ardoon's former occupation. Can't hurt to ask, Apollo. Mr. Aldoon, or should I say, Dr. Aldoon, figured it out, did you? That's right, I was a doctor, surgeon, till the year before last. So, Dr. Mr. Maractus with your rival? You like those onions they put in the soup broth? Uh, yeah, kinda. You take, take a spoon, you drink some broth, those onions will find a way in there. For people like him, for people who like him, that's just fine. For people who hate him. I hate onions, I hate them! Always sneaking in from the side, getting in the way of the good tasting spoonful. Well, that was what he was. An onion. Onion boy, that's what I call him. So, you weren't exactly friends. Ha! <laughs> Me and Pal Maractus. Ever since preschool, we were getting in each other's faces. No matter what I did, sure enough, he'd come following along. Then he'd do it better than me. Just blow right past me without as much of a hatty. I see. That's right! I was a surgeon before... Long before he was, you know. Then that no good onion boy comes along. Well, Trucy, looks like we have found ourselves a new suspect. Don't say that. Thanks to him, I was forced to trade in my scalpel for a ladle. Sorry, pal. Didn't mean to weigh you down with an old man's ramblings. No, it's fine. By way of apology. You ever get yourself in a spot of trouble, you drop by. Huh? You're investigating Maractus, aren't you? Yes. Well, you want to know about a doctor? You have you ask a doctor. That's all I'm saying. Think of me if you need something, Tracy Doll. Right. Thanks, Mr. Aldoon. Hmm. I guess the time spent listening to him complain wasn't entirely wasted. Well, we've got to check out this clinic. That's for sure. Yeah, but what about the guard? No harm in asking. Um, excuse me. Hey, it's you two from yesterday. It's the same offer that was standing by the park yesterday. Your business is over in the park, isn't it? The clinic's off limits, it's not involved. But, but. What part of off limits do you not understand? So many proof that the clinic is connected to the incident in the park or beat it. No harm in asking, no gain either. I'm putting sticking around here, I guess. Okay. Can I go there right now, apparently? Uh, let's try to go to the park again. Nope. Okay. What about... Can we go back to the detention center yet? There we go. June 16th descent detention center visitor's room. Um, I was hoping to meet with my client. Look, Kataki just finished questioning. I'll bring him out. Great, finally. Yo, sup, my little imposter? Ah, uh, what did you just call me? The Zam is you? Sorry, G. Thought you were Ali. Ah. Alina. My little imposter sure is a strange nickname. It's a clink thing. It's a clink thing. You wouldn't understand. D did I say imposter? I meant poster. Like, poster girl, right? If you're gonna drop, drop part of it, why don't you just drop poster and call her girl? Cause she's much more than a G. Like that G. She's like, like an angel. A fallen angel. So, what can I do for you? Don't look so chipper today, Wacky. What about your um, heart condition, maybe?
Oh boy. The bullet you carry so close to your heart, not attended to immediately, could kill you. Man, I ain't trying to hear that. Man fights to protect those died over him, you know what I'm saying? And I missed my fallen angel. Hey, you got a you got a leader for me. You're you're my lawyer, aren't you? Lawyer, not gopher. So I hear you're to be married next month. Straight up, we poured the nuptial 40 out on the stoop. Alita, oh, Snapple Cakes, she's so fine. I think he's smitten with, his, with her in his own weird way. I was wondering, how did you two meet? I asked Tiana, but she was very vague. Huh, well, man, if she wouldn't tell you, I best hold my tongue, you feel me? What? Man, what's past is past, she knows that. When I'm with Alita, I feel like there's things worth protecting out there, you feel me? And my Alita, she's down with all, with that all the way. So both of them are mum about their past. Do you think you could tell us what happened with you and, and Pomeractus? Eh, there's something you, you should know. We Kitakis have are having a, a what you might call a feud with the Rivalis family. So about six months back, got, I go into Rivalis' turf packing a knife, right? And you were shot. Coolest thing I've ever seen. One shot to the heart, but my homies weren't too late. It's a miracle that I lived. It's already considered one of them seven wonders of that Kentucky family, you know that? So you were taken to the Miraculous Clinic then. You should have seen their faces when they wheeled me in. You can't just let the bus side done, you know? Or, uh, side die, you know? I hate to be in, have been in that doctor's shoes. Mr. Kataki's scary enough when he's not angry. But the bullet that hit you... It was never removed. It's still threatening his life. The doctor, he did it on purpose. The Rivalis paid him off, I'm sure of it. I need to tell him more about the night of the murder. That much is clear. Life of the family's a G thing. Talk about, it's about being a man. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, I'm not up to my G, on my G things. I'm not even sure what a G thing is. Ooh, careful when you ask, out, ask that, Trucy. But my old man, he's gone soft. He says the old rival gang's days are over. He just wants to make money. Is that a good thing? Man, there ain't no such soul in making money. Better live fast and die young for shizzle. <sighs> Wait till I run the yard. Then everyone will know what time it is. That's right, OG time all the time. Represent. Pilot, why does he keep talking about old guys? Don't think that's what OG means, Trucy. Yikes. Alright, is there anything we can present to him? Couple things. Yeah, whatever. Seems preoccupied. Not, I mean, didn't even look. A leader, man, a leader! What about these weapons? The pistol and the knife? They belong to the family! Let's knock them out that night! So the killer, Mr. Stickler, saw he says that I was... I guess it was me. I was there, after all. <laughs> We're finished. Uh, yo, Waki. Do you ever think you could tell us exactly what happened that night? <laughs> you don't beat around the bush, do you? I like your style, shorty. I'm gonna unlock that. Um, actually, there's a question I've been wanting to ask you for a while now. That is, uh, did you do it? Did you shoot him? I don't know. Huh? There, that checkup when I found out about the bullet in my heart. I borrowed a gun from my family stash. Figured I'd give that doctor a taste of his own bad medicine. Uh-oh. I don't like where this is going. But you were carrying a knife, weren't you? Oh, that? Yeah, well, I never, never can be too careful, I say. I'm on my way to the clinic, right? When I run into him on the in the park, and he's dragging this noodle stand behind him. Wait, you didn't put him up to that? Like, you know, in the movies? If you value your life, you'll bring the stand. Shorty, you're more whack than I am, and that's saying something. But I was serious. Thing is, I don't remember what happened next all too well. You don't remember? But the way I see it, if there wasn't anyone else there that night, then I guess it probably was me who did him in, you know what I'm saying? Doesn't know. 
that's not a good thing. However, we are going to end things here. Episode's getting a little long. In the next episode of Apollo Justice, Ace Attorney, Turnabout Corner, not Corner Turnabout, Turnabout Corner, TC, TC, um, we are going to go and investigate some more, obviously, because that's all we do. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later.